Okay, okay, there you go. Oh. <laughs> Look at that! Oh my goodness! Boom! It's easy now to kill! Look at all of those meteor- Good morning everybody, welcome to Mortal Gaming, this is me again, Marvin, and we're now here for another video for Ragnarok Origin, and this time we're going to be looking at the newly buffed Warlock, and I believe this is the type of Warlock that we're gonna have in our global server when the third job class releases, okay? So, the reason why, um, you know, they have, they have been buffing this is because the usual complaint of the Warlock is that when you use the gravitational field it's still going to be the best skill to use because it still gives you the highest damage capacity than all of the combos and considering that you still have to make combos in order for it to work it's not gonna be worth it right so they have buffed almost everything on the warlock starting from the magic reading book the magic reading book is really gonna be the best thing that you'll experience in a warlock okay the crimson meteor the lightning the abyss grip the frost nova the comet chain lightning everything everything they have buffed it they cut the cooldown in half and at the same time they have made the release of the skill faster the casting animation faster and for the comets they have made it you know faster on going down okay so because it's before it's like <laughs> it's like on slow-mo and then it it explodes right now it's just just goes down and it wrecks havoc okay so first of all thank you so much to sir james or kobe for lending me his awesome warlock so if we're gonna be looking at the skills look at this Crimson Meteor, the cooldown now is 1.2 seconds. Lightning combo or lightning, 1.2 seconds. This one, March of Abyss, 1.2 seconds. And look at the Comet Impact. The Comet is now 2 seconds on cooldown. This also, 2 seconds on cooldown before it was like 4 seconds, right? This one is like 2.4 seconds before. For the, uh, LM the Tetra Vortex, before it is 30 seconds, it's now 19 seconds. The reading spell book before is uh, 13 seconds, now it's 8 seconds. So that only means that you can just, just put all of this on your auto attack and just let your character do the job. And it it's gonna be a cycle now. Before, it, you cannot make a cycle that fast now it's gonna be a continuous cycle between your elemental energies your when you get that you can now uh, cast and spam reading spell book and cast tetra vortex and all of these skills okay so imagine 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 that you can now uh cast the meteor the crimson meteor look at that look at that meteor it's now very fast in going down and that's nice okay and for the comet it's also very fast okay before it's like you know it's it's gonna stay there for so long <laughs> okay so now for the reading spell book okay nothing much has changed except for the cast time the casting animation and the cooldown so for the reading spell book we will be putting all of the energies here for the comet okay so that uh, when you cast the reading spell book, you would automatically cast four comets like that. And it's that fast. Can you still remember four months ago when I featured, first featured the Warlock, when you click the reading spell book, it's like one to two seconds casting animation before you release all of the skills. Now it's like automatic, okay? It's instant. And that's so good. That's so good. Imagine, um, wait, let's put the reading spell book here so that we can, we can uh, manipulate it easily. Okay, there you go. So, Crimson Meteor, Crimson Meteor, Crimson Meteor. 
and then uh, Comet Impact, and then okay, and now reading spell book Tetra Vortex, and then we can just, just wreak havoc. Look at that! <laughs> oh my goodness, it's so good. And look at that, look at that, it's almost over! The cooldown is almost over! And reading spellbook again. And then Tetra Vortex. <laughs> you can act to, and now if you're gonna be looking at the auto setting, you can now just put all of this for on the auto setting and you, the character will cast the Tetra Vortex, the Comet, and the Crimson Meteor um, um, instantaneously and continuously with the reading spellbook. Look at this. Okay. Crimson Meteor, Crimson Meteor, Tetra Vortex, Comet Impact, Comet Impact, Comet Impact. <laughs> Unlimited Comet Impact. And now, you will now... The, the character now will cast the reading spell book. Look at that. The character knows how to to do the combo better than I am. <laughs> Look at that! Oh my goodness. This is so amazing. And, okay, and when you make it the the thunder okay or the lightning or the chain lightning okay let's just change it like this and change the the reading spell book and put everything here such as this one okay all chain lightning okay there you go so now wait wait let's change the attribute to water okay there you go and now let's cast everything lightning combo lightning combo tetra vortex and then chain lightning all of the chain lightning there you go and then reading spell book <laughs> so for pvp okay for pvp it's gonna be different so you're just gonna be uh, using both chain lightning and comment why are you gonna use Chain Lightning and Comet at the same time? Because those two jive together because of the uh, effect that the Chain Lightning leaves on the enemy. So it leaves the... Uh, for the Chain Lightning, it leaves a conduction effect, okay? Conduction effect that lasts 7 seconds, okay? So uh, for the Comet, it now leaves scorching effect okay so when you have it says here that if you hit a target with the conduction effect so if you have already hit someone with chain lightning and it gets uh, the conduction effect you will blast off all of the remaining damage of the conduction effect same as with the chain lightning if you hit the the enemy with a scorching effect so that is what the comet impact leaves behind after it hits the target it leaves a scorching effect so if somebody is there and gets the scorching effect it also blows up all of those damage that the, the continuous damage that that enemy is getting so it's just like you know double damage for both of it and that's the reason why it's so awesome in pvp now the only thing that could stop the warlock on pvp are the professors right but considering that most people are gonna change from professor to warlock warlock's gonna reign the aoe battle on the large-scale pvps and i'm so excited for that oh by the way the lightning and the meteor you have to have a target okay you have to have a target so for the lightning for the chain lightning you also have to have a target so it's just the it's just the comet that is considerably an AOE. But I think the damage is still AOE. So if you're wondering what is the scorching effect, that's the scorching effect, okay? And the conduction effect together. Okay? There you go. There you go. That's the that's this the conduction effect, okay? 
let's now test it on a an MVP. Let's test um you know the again again the Kraken, okay? Because the Kraken is always the usual testing monster. <laughs> We're just gonna change it to Minoru's card, okay? There you go. So now we have everything on the uh, wind side. Let's now attack the Kraken. Let's go. Look at that. Look at the HP. Look at the HP. But it's not as fast as how the Rune Knight drops the Kraken. But it's still better than before. You can really see that it's gonna be so much better than before because of the all of the the reduction on cooldown and the faster cast time. Imagine how fast the Rune Knight drops the Kraken as compared with a Warlock. But, uh, you know, to be fair, this Warlock has 100,000 uh, Divine Power less. So, maybe um, that's also a thing, okay, to consider. Okay. So, let's now test the other one. Let's now test it on Tao Gunka because Tao Gunka is now Earth. So, we can now test the fire one, okay? The fire combo. Let's just change everything here to the Crimson Meteor and the Comet, okay? And the Reading Spell Book. Let's also change it to all Comets, okay? There you go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So now it's Demon. So we're gonna change it to Demon. Strophe card. And this is it. Let's go, let's go. Boom, boom, boom. Wait, what happened? Okay, okay, there you go. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my goodness. Boom! It's easy now to kill. Look at all of those meteor and comets rushing down the enemy. Oh, wait. You have to kill the... You have to kill this. The Tao Gunka statue. Okay, there you go. And then now the Tao Gunka. <sighs> the sound effects... The sound effect is not that fast. It's kind of delayed. But look at that. Look at that. Look at all of the all of the comets rushing down the enemy. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh my god. You can you have to kill the pillars. Okay, there you go. I like it. I like it. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Woo! Let's just blow up all of the scorching effect. <laughs> so, what do you think about this, guys? What do you think for the aspiring warlocks? This is a significant change, guys. This is a very huge, significant change. For me, I am slowly building up my decision to becoming a warlock. And uh, let me know in the comment section what do you think about this. And that's it. Again, thank you so much to Sir James or Kobe for lending me his character. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. If you happen to like this video, please do leave a like. Share this to your friends and click that bell notification button so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Start a new stream or a new content. That's it. See you again on the next video. Bye-bye.
Now I found you